Yeah, my name is Susanne Winter. I'm working with WWF Germany in Berlin and I'm the Forest Policy Director for WWF Germany. Um, yeah, for um, integrated forest management, I, I think the main point is it can help um, the adaptation of the biodiversity. That means that uh, the species can be great if you remain with habitat, trees, uh, with dead wood and so on. For sure they live inside, but if there is a need for migration because of climate change, you, you provide the habitats. So the connectivity is given and that is very important to adapt to climate change. Um, that's the first point. The second point is um, if you have a, a best practice of integrated forest management, you have more stock um, in the forest, so you increase the carbon sequestration in the, within the forest, and this is a long-term storage, um, or compared to normal wood products, it's longer to store carbon inside the forest. As you know, most products are um, short term in the wood production. So more than 50 up to 60 percent uh, is used immediately or in the next one to three years. And so they release the carbon uh, once again after the use of the product. And so if you remain with, for, uh, with trees in the forest, it helps uh, to combat climate um, change. And the last point is um, um, when you have a certain adaptation on the civic culture um, methods, uh, according to integrated forest management, you can maintain um, the, the inner climate of the forest. And that really helps a lot to um, mitigate the effects of climate change. Because if you have a um, higher uh, tree density with a higher crown canopy and we have a lot of measurements uh, from science that humidity, especially in the temperate zone but also in the boreal zone, humidity is uh, higher and uh, the impact of climate change is mitigated by that. And we have studies from Italy, for example, that if you change the silviculture methods a little bit more, uh, then, then you can um, mitigate the, the climate change you already pr practice. Uh, so uh, one to two degree uh, increase uh, can mainly mitigate it, not everywhere, not on all site conditions, for sure not. But in, in a lot of places uh, you can mitigate the climate change by this silviculture method. I'm Lilia Zapponi, I'm an ecologist and I work in Italy for the National Center for the Study and Conservation of Forest Biodiversity of Bosco Fontana. And I believe that integrated management is a very promising way to ensure that we have a flexible methods of managing an ecosystem because it's the flexibility which will ensure us not to reach exploitation levels that would compromise biodiversity and thus we will definitely compromise the resilience of the system, which is the key to react to climate change.